Hello everybody. Kevon Looney has become an offensive rebounding god. Kevon Looney is currently the NBA's number one offensive rebounder, even though his playing time goes up and down due to whatever mad lineup experiments are happening. He's just gotten better and better at it. It really started taking off after the new coach Dejan Belojevic joined the Warriors and then this year it's really gone into outer space. The first pattern is that Kavan always tries to set himself up on the opposite side of the basket from the shot. So here Clay is going to the right and so Kavan is going to stay on the other side of the basket expecting that more rebounds than not are going to come to the opposite side. Out hustling Keegan Murray and then going up fast with the putback. Here's another offensive rebound. Poole with a step back. The principle is that rebounds will tend to go to the opposite side, so that it should be coming this way. Kessler Edwards is boxing Kevon Looney out. Uh, even though he has inside position, this ball <laughs> bounces over his head, and Looney's right there to pick up the rebound. Edwards found out there's such a thing as being too close to the basket. How did he get so inside? Let's go back and see right now. He's boxing out Kevon Looney. He's outside the circle. Looks good, looks good. But Kevon is exercising just enough force to push Edwards into the circle. And now Edwards is too close to the basket and the ball's gonna bounce away. And Looney is at the right distance from the basket. Clay is going for a jump stop bank shot. Kavan's defender has inside position, but also has his back turned to Kavan. Which way do you think Kavan will go? Will he go this way or will he go around his defender this way down the lane? Well, using the principle of the opposite side it will more likely than not go to the other side. So Kavan is going to take this route to the basket. Len is using a very old fashioned style of box out where he's completely squared up to Kavan and he's got two arms on Kavan. The two problems with this traditional box out first is that since you can't actually legally grab the other rebounder eventually he'll be able to slide around you and the second is that if you've got both hands on your man then you don't have any hands free to grab the ball he would have had inside position on this ball but he didn't have a hand to grab it and Kavon Looney just slides over to the side grabs the ball says hello my little friend Clay is happy to be the recipient I don't have the actual statistics but I think if Clay touches the ball after an offensive rebound, then 99.9% .9 of the time he's going to shoot it. On this play, so Len does a very traditional box out where he slips into inside position. He's completely squared up to Looney so that Looney is at the center of his back. And then he puts out both of his arms to try to fend off Looney from going around him from side to side. You might say, what is the alternative to this traditional box out? So the Warriors big man coach, who was Jokic's coach, is Dejan Milosevic. He preaches a very specific form of box out where you stand sideways to the man. And you put one arm into the other rebounder and then fight him off at a right angle. So that means that you can maintain contact with him as he goes from one side to the other side. And most importantly, you have your other arm free to go get the rebound. This is from back in the good old days of October 2022. You can see Wiseman practicing this technique on Looney. Wiseman setting himself at a right angle, trying to get his shoulder and arm into the other player, leaving him this free hand, fending him off for space with one hand, reaching for the rebound with the other hand. Kavan sees that Clay is in his natural state of being about to shoot. The principle one is to expect a rebound on the other side of the basket. Kavan is running down court, perfectly centered, but he's going to swerve so that he ends up on the left side. Principle one, check, Looney is on the opposite side. Principle two, Looney wants to push Len under the basket. Luckily, Len has already pushed himself under the basket, so all Looney has to do is keep him there. All right, let's look at one more offensive rebound by Kavan that puts all three principles together. This ball's being kicked out to Clay. You know he's 100% gonna shoot this shot. Kavan Looney right now is right in the middle of the court. Principle one, go to the opposite side. Kavan's man has his back to him, so he has his choice whether to run by him on this side or run straight down the middle. Using the opposite side principle, if Clay shoots here, then the ball is going to tend to go to the other side. So Kavan is going to swerve subtly to the left. Now there's going to be a fight between this orthodox boxing out and Kavan's 
boxing out. It's clear that Len is trying to square up Kavon and put Looney right in the back, right in the center of his back. Got two arms out. It's harder to see what Kavon is doing, but now that we've seen Deki demonstrate the technique, Kavon is putting his right shoulder and right arm onto the player, and that frees his left arm. Kavon's right arm is creating the contact and making the space, and that frees his left arm to reach out for this rebound. Len, with the more traditional box out, has both his arms down and he just can't get this ball. Beautiful work just to reach with his free arm, and then his other arm can swing around to help him secure the ball. And best of all, as soon as he gets the rebound, he's looking around, scanning for open shooters. Hey, that guy looks so inspirational. Let's throw it to him. Bang. I can't help talking about one last play. We've got a two-on-one. This guy's got a full head of steam, GP2 trying to catch up. That bounce pass makes the man slow down just enough so that GP2 is going to have a chance at this. And he times this jump perfectly. Bong. And then his momentum is going to take him right next to Mr. Goldcap over here, which puts GP2 in prime position to spread some good vibes, peace in our time. This chase down block looks really clean. This ball ends up ricocheting right to Steph Curry. Look what rolled in my door. Steph drives. I understand why this defender stays with Steph and why this defender is rotating to Steph because he's just leaving Come on, Looney. No one's afraid of Looney as a shooter, and no one ever got fired for following Steph Curry. Terrence Davis is supposed to be guarding Katamari Payton II, and he ends up getting mesmerized by Steph's dribbling routine, so he ends up switching over, saying, look at Steph Curry, man, so inspirational. GP2 says, good luck with that, and he relocates to the near corner. Steph with a little dish. Okay, so GP2 is going to make this corner shot. Let's wrap up with a celebration audit. Who is going to be the first to prematurely celebrate this three? Okay, Jordan Poole definitely is the first to react, but Poole makes the crucial error leaning down first before jumping up. It's like he's doing the hop. And that means Lester Quinones right next to Poole can sense through tremors that Pool is about to stand up. So that means that even though Pool had the head start, Quinones, with great acceleration, reaches standing posture at the same time as Pool. Pretty savvy of the rookie. And then Quinones also throws up the OK3 early. So right now he's got the preliminary lead on Jordan Pool for premature celebration. But Pool showing the instincts of a true champion here, senses Terrence Davis flying into the bench, and he applies just a little bit of torque, which deflects Terrence Davis right into Quinonez's lap. Davis completely takes out Quinonez, who has to sit back down. Now Quinonez knows exactly what Terrence Davis wants for Christmas. In the meantime, Jordan Poole now has exclusive access to GP2, while Lester in the background is wondering how he's going to lose the 250 pounds of weight he just gained. Let's see, can Jordan Poole and GP2 complete the sweeping live action side high five? Yes, this was an uncontested side five, but they took care of business in this celebration, just like the Warriors took care of business in the game.